DIY or Die, Walker Vapor Group LLC, or any of its associates do not condone nor encourage the use of nicotine, vapor products, or any mood-altering substances without the explicit consent of a physician. The content viewable on this channel is strictly for entertainment purposes only and not meant to be seen as informational or educational. Must be 21 years or older to view these materials. Mixers, welcome back to another awesome episode of the Mixin Vixens. My name is Emily, also known as Mill Nikon in all the DIY circles. And uh, please say hello to our other Vixens. We've got JJ, Flavor Pro, Jen Jarvis. How are you doing today? Good evening. Good. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. We've got Jen, the Juice Fairy. How's everybody doing? Happy hey. Sunday. It's snowing here in North Carolina. We thought, we thought it surely that the the mailman, I mean, that the newsman was wrong. But you know what? Durham, BCF area, has six inches of snow. They're that's, purple. That's crazy. <laughs> and say hello to Rin Vapes. Hi. Hi, Rin. And we have a special guest today, Mary Beth, or Mechmod RN. How are you doing today? Hey, doing swell. Thanks for having me. Hey, thanks for coming on. Glad to have you. <clears throat> so as you we guys love can our see, guests. <clears throat> sorry? We love our guests. We do. We love our guests. It's fun to bring people in from the community and Absolutely. let everyone know that, you know, there are other, other women out there. <laughs> <clears throat> so how's everyone's week been? Sorry, I almost choked on that one. Uh, <laughs> I took a drag of my mod and got choked <laughs> vapor coming back out my week has been swell it's been it's been pretty good i was under the weather on wednesday but i'm all better now got a new puppy in the house i actually have her <laughs> in the room with us right now and i might go off screen eventually if she starts eating find something and starts chewing on it swell i like that you use that word i haven't heard that in a minute well 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 yeah when i use funky words i might not be telling the full truth like when someone from the south says well bless your heart yeah, yeah. They that is really definitely, that. yeah and, and i i have only said that i'm i'm in north carolina i've used that twice somebody <laughs> sent me something that's like bless your heart sweetheart i was like <laughs> like me calling someone pretty precious much. like you're so yeah precious. basically it's like mm -hmm, pretty much <laughs> Yep. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, man, just trying to get the Christmas shopping done. The Amazon, the hunt on Amazon. <laughs> I yeah. mean, God, that, that internet shopping. Who else is internet shopping this year? I think everybody is. Oh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. I ordered something on Target.com. I'm hoping it goes on sale before I get it, because if it does, I can still go back and get whatever the sale price is. Yep. Well, I cannot internet shop this year guys i'm really sad i know that's why that would kill well, me your post I would, was canada strike. post was on strike like for like two i think the two months close to it so now they're all backed up and things take forever i ordered flavors on the 14th of november still haven't gotten them yet but i can't i can't buy on anything what's that you got them local in Canada, and no, they're still. No, I I got them in Bull City, but still, even when I order from the states, it like two weeks tops, and I get stuff, you know, and it's going on it's going on a month so so. But I don't uh, know, girl. I sent you something, and it took a month. Yeah. Yeah, true. It, it, it just depends on how long Customs wants to hold it for. So, that's a whole nother ball game, whole nother ball of wax. JJ, how's your week gone? You getting ready for Christmas? Uh. I'm I'm procrastinating. <laughs> I still got to order stuff for the little one. I, we're not really doing a whole lot for Christmas because it's just just the three of us. So get the little one some presents. Nice. Oh, 
relaxing, relaxing Christmas. Yes. And Rin, how how has your week been? Um, it's been good. I just don't want to go back to work tomorrow. Oh, that sucks. I know the yeah. feeling. I put the light on for the kitten because she's driving me nuts. So if you see like a little red dot <laughs> roaming around, it's the cat's toy. Yeah, I got my puppy in here too. If she starts whining, I'll put her on my lap. But if I can just keep her right here at my feet where I can just rub her little head, that's where she's going to stay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So has anyone gotten any uh, new flavors recently that, that they have tested and or messed around with and like? I actually ordered some stuff from Flavor West this week that I used to have that I have. I don't know where the heck they are or they went bad and I threw them away. Who knows? One or the other. So I got Flavor West um, root beer again because that's a pretty good one. I don't like root beer for myself, but I like to mix it every once in a while. And I forgot what their kiwi tastes like. I used, so I figured I'd, I'd order a couple of fruits again just to the try them kiwi. out again. But that's about it. I uh, I decided to get <clears throat> some DIY flavor stack flavors oh. just because I was shopping at the Vapor Supply and I was just like, I want some random obscure flavors that I haven't tried before. So I just tested last week uh, angel food cake and sugar cream. I'm impressed so far. Are you? Very I got some from which company? Um, DIY flavor shack. Mm. The sugar cream is like a really dark, really, really sweet, like coil killer, but it's really good. <laughs> like it's, it's pretty tasty. It's almost caramely. Pretty tasty. Sometimes it makes me Did want you get the pillow talk? No, I didn't. <sighs> well, no. I ordered them, I ordered them like a month or two ago. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't even hear about pillow talk till last week, so. If you like marshmallow, next time. Next time. It's on my list, Rin. To get pillow talk next time. Their peanut butter is pretty good, too. It's the expert peanut butter. It's kind of an Ex ordeal for me to get anything from the Vapor Supply because they don't ship to Canada. So I have to have it shipped to, like, a P.O. box in Washington that my friend has. And he goes across the border and gets them and then sends them to me. <laughs> Oh my god. It's convoluted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I picked up some tobaccos. So I haven't ever done that. I haven't played with tobaccos. So, you know, card the cardinal uh hype has got me uh wanting to try uh -huh. some. Nice. Um, so I picked up some tobaccos and picked up uh what was it, Holy Grail. And uh, yeah, I want to mix up I want to mix that mix up in the variations. The one that Fresh did actually looks good, the halfling that he did on Gen Show with uh, his custard base kind of had me intrigued. So I picked that up and um, nice. picked up some, 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 is it, no, Salubarome, how do you say that? Salubarome. Salubarome, thank you. Yeah, I picked up a couple of those at Bull City. Um, yeah, so I saw we'll they started carrying them now. That's pretty yeah. awesome. So next, we'll time, next time you play with tobaccos, um, pull up my recipe for, um, Pistachio brulee de Soho. Oh yeah, I know that. Right? I know it. That that's on my list to mix too. <laughs> and and get those flavors really too. Those are, that's a really good one. It's a very that looks really tobacco. good. Yeah, I yeah. finally just got Holy Holy Grail after you guys, you know, telling yep. me I should get it for so long. I, I didn't want to get another tobacco. I'm like, no. <laughs> Everyone's like, you have to get it. You have to get it. It's so I good. Know. I'm like, all right. <laughs> so I've got a few of those on my list to make up that. I like not really tobacco mixes. I felt that way about uh, Holy Holy Vanilla. I was like, what do I need another vanilla? I think I have like, I don't know, a lot. <laughs> and I was like, okay, you guys were right. It's worth getting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have that. I have that as well. And I don't know. I'm, I'm, if it, the one flavor I get, no matter what brand it is, is strawberry. I get all of them. I have to. <laughs> yeah. All the strawberries. Hey, that's I got the all the strawberries. That, uh, Delosi strawberry milk. It's pretty tasty. I even I mean, have flavor I mean, West strawberry milk. I mean, flavor that West strawberry milk milkshake is is a good one too. I that actually enjoy that as a single flavor. <laughs> you don't like it? No. Nope. Hmm. 
I don't like it either. I was disappointed. I was disappointed too. I was like, ah, eh, you know, it's a little oh. bit of milk and a little bit of strawberry. It's eh, okay. Huh. I can take this. Hmm. I tried the vape train orange juice today. And I was like, why do I taste strawberry? Am I going nuts? But apparently it has a strawberry note. Oh, like, really? Why would you make orange juice with a strawberry note? I mean, it's good, but it's like very odd. It wasn't what you were expecting. Kind of like drinking soda when you ask for tea. Yeah, or water or something like that. Like it, yeah, it was, I thought I was losing my mind. <laughs> <laughs> After the whole Wonder Flavors thing with the frog gummy, which was peach. Ab yep. Horrible. But it was supposed to be, or, well, I was, I thought it was green apple. And I'm like, green apple. Nope. it still doesn't taste like green apple, but what nope. is that flavor? It's freaking peach. Yep. And their cucumber, the VT cucumber has like a banana in the back note, like a, like a defined banana note in their cucumber. At least that's what I picked up. Yeah. I, I've heard that a Several of their flavors have that banana note. Mm hmm Yep. Oh. And it works for some. For some things that they make, but cucumber, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> it must be like some kind of additive or something that they're looking to add something to, but it just happens to taste like something. I would hope. Yeah, yeah because they, at, I think somebody asked him straight up in one of the shows, and they were like, it is not banana. And we're like, okay, but it still tastes like it. And like expectations are like 30% of the flavor. You know, you, if you go in expecting something and it's completely different, it may be a good flavor, but like you're turned off of it. And like, you don't even want to give it a chance because you thought it's going to be something else. <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually good though. It tastes like if you were to take an orange Starburst and like a little bit of a pink Starburst and eat them together. That's what it tastes like. That would actually be good. Sounds good. Yeah, that actually sounds really good. It, like a smoothie, it would be good. So I mean, it ha definitely has use. It's just it really screwed with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, okay, I'm good now. <laughs> we'll wait. We'll wait for you to tell us what it what it does in a mix. Yeah. <laughs> or we'll wait to see if you use it in a mix. I'm sure at some point I will. <laughs> I put this like kind of insane goal on myself or, or goal or like expectation where like every week I'm I'm not only do I single flavor test for noted but I have a bunch of new flavors just in a box just waiting to be tested so I made a goal or of myself to to test like three or four of them a week just to get them you know just to, to get them through so at least I know what they're what they're like that wasn't good enough though I have to not only single flavor test but then last week's flavors i either i made it upon myself to either make a mix using those flavors or yeah. myself or mix up someone else's recipe using those flavors uh, so not only do i get an idea of what they taste like by themselves yeah, but what they do in a mix yeah. and oh my gosh at first i thought yeah i can do this I'm like this is gonna be nuts why did i do this to myself <laughs> emily that is tough that's exactly yeah. how i ended up with using so many basic flavors because last <laughs> my resolution in 2018 in January it's almost over I'm almost done was to use all of my flavors one time before I ordered anything luckily for this show I've had to place a couple orders but I wasn't supposed to order anything until I've used <laughs> everything at least once so yeah you guys saved wow. me from but I only order <laughs> for the show <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of flavors to get through to, before you can order new stuff. I know because I still have a lot of flora I haven't tasted. But the <laughs> year's almost over and I will not make that resolution again. <laughs> <laughs> I got like three weeks of hell left. <laughs> Smart move, girl. Smart move. So, Emily, how many flavors did you test like for noted? Like, what do you do? You do like six, seven flavors a week? Uh, um it depends on the profile yeah there are some profiles i just naturally have more flavors of right um they average around like 10 to 15 a you week know, that you're testing that i'm testing oh. sometimes i'll have less like this is next tomorrow is, is like tropical blends week and i only have like three or four of them 
But then when it's like chocolates, I ended up having like 25. Oh my God. You know why you probably had 25? Because you probably don't like chocolate and you kept trying to find a good one. Yeah, exactly. Well, that and yeah, that and I go on like a a spending spree. Like when I know a note is coming up that is a profile that interests me, I'm like, oh, I don't have this one or that one. So I then buy other ones that I don't have just to try them up for noted. (laughs) So yeah, it can get pretty crazy. That's crazy. Nice. Your palate must get like blown out of the water. Like you can only do so many a day, right? I mean, yeah, I um, I kind of split them up into groups, and I do like like three or four a day. You yeah, know? that's about what I can do about three or four a day, and then I'm done. I'm like, no, I can't do it. So anything. there'll there'll be weeks where like nothing I vape is just for fun. <laughs> like nothing yeah. I vape is just a mix. It's uh, all single flavor test, uh, and it, that can get pretty, you know. Pretty yeah, tired, but. it loses. Um, it's fun, you know. I mean, yeah. I, all I can say is I appreciate so much what you guys do and noted, and this show too. But I mean, the the commitment and time you've got to put into that show is phenomenal. I can only imagine. Well, thank you. Well, guys, let's get into uh, this week's profile. As you can see, the picture it's like a a pastry thing with some looks like maybe some caramel and a, and a banana on top. How did you guys like mixing for this this week's profile? I was excited. I was totally stoked. It's in my wheelhouse, so I was I was stoked. Some sometimes when something goes out there, I don't I don't I don't even know who picked this. I don't think it was me, but whoever did, thank you. Yes. That was JJ. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. Yeah, it's right up my alley. I think too. she thought it was a different fruit, though. <laughs> no, she knew it was a banana. It was right up my alley, so I had a I had a fun time mixing it. In fact, the first thing I I made was like, oh, okay, I'm done. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> yeah, that's the same thing I did. I made one, yeah. and yeah, I was me too. Up, warmed it up. I was like, oh, done. No, I had like five versions. I was like, a little more caramel, no, a little less. Oh wait, I can use smoky butterscotch. I haven't really used it. Let me try that. I was taking in, taking out. Oh. The only thing I did, I. I made one recipe and then I adjusted percent because it was a little bit wonky the first yeah. time, but that's all I did. All I did was yeah. just, I made a 30 mil tester Adjustment. and then I was like, oh, let me tweak that a little bit. That was it. So what I, was, I liked it, <clears throat> what I liked about this profile is you could go, you could go simple and get a really good vape, or you could get as complex as creating a base, creating the cream, creating this, you know, the brown sugar syrup, going for the banana, like you could like yeah. Layer, layer. You could go crazy with that. That could be real complex. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. You could go Jennifer simple. Is yeah, that what we're <laughs> Fair, Get it right, Jennifer. It's fair. <laughs> <Get it right. laughs> totally. Like genocide. <laughs> you could go, you could go, you could go, you could go a lot of different ways and get a really good profile with it. Yeah, is, for sure. All right. Well, uh, who would like to go first in sharing their recipe? Eeny, meeny, meeny, moe. I'll go. Oh, I'll, Mary, I'll look at that, Mary Beth. The guest is volunteering. Wow, that's very brave. That's good, though. That's good, though. Yeah. Then you get it out of the way and you can watch the rest of the show. Yeah, man. All, all through college, all through public speaking, I'm like, look, man, the more I watch people that are better than me, the more nervous I get. <laughs> so let me get it done. Let's yeah. Rock and roll. Do I need to do something? Do I need to put it up? No, it's already up. James got it. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay. All right, sorry. Uh, let me pull it up here so I can talk to it. Um, all right, so I named it Toony Flame Nanas because you know our boy Addy Toony, he does some wonderful flamed uh, uh, toonies, you know, uh, K funds, and and mm-hmm. so I, yeah. I had to name it. I had to name it in honor of Mr. Addy Toony, the Godfather of mixing. But so um, I. For my base, I used the flavor, uh, I'm sorry, Flavor West graham cracker with a little bit, and it was a little light on the texture, so I added some um, Jungle Flavors biscuit for some texture and butter notes. And then for the cream base, I didn't, like I tried it with just TPA and then I added Capella and I'm like, no, nah, that's not really what I want. And so then I used Yes We Can, which is like my favorite cream cheese, uh, cream ca- cheesecake right now. And I used the creme brulee for a little bit of the the caramelized sugar notes and mm-hmm. it made kind of like a real Philly cheese, cream cheese filling, which is what I kind of figured this was. Um, and then for the banana, I had just gotten in uh, 
the banana flambe and I tested it and it was really soft and full and ripe. It was a good banana. It reminded me a lot of um, Wonder Flavors banana. And yeah. off, the, off the shake though, it was a little candied, but over time I found mm. that it really mellowed out. The only thing is I found that the syrupy caramelized notes were kind of light on it. So I needed to kind of support that. So I decided to go with the Jamaican rum. I tried it with um, some brown sugar and then I tried caramel and then I tried it with uh, milk and honey and they were just kind of too dark. And so the golden syrup was perfect. And then I used the smoky butterscotch for some kind of warm back notes on the finish. And so, yeah, that's that's pretty much what I did. And then I put in a bunch of notes and subs because I made so many variations of this mix and they each kind of changed the profile slightly um, depending on kind of what you're after. But yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Well, this looks really good. I'm glad you used banana flambe. I don't see that enough and it is a really nice. It is. Authentic cooked banana flavor. Yep, completely. And and that, sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say that Inawera creme brulee has got to be and make it nice and rich and smoky. Yeah, that well, the the caramelized you know sugar note is pretty prominent in the in the in the creme brulee, I think. So I just mm -hmm. use that to support that to support some of those darker notes, as well. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Yeah, I see that you um I pretty often use that vape train golden syrup. Yeah, along with that fa Jamaica rum. I do. Uh, and I like that. Yep. yep, it definitely, it creates that sort of dark syrupy kind of note, which I, which is perfect in this scenario. Yeah. How much banana is there in here? Um, just, just the, the banana slam bag. You mean percent wise? No, flavor wise. Oh no, not much. It's, it's noticeable, but I didn't really want it to be in your face. Like I didn't, for me personally, I didn't want it the real strong. Mm. So you yeah. could you could add another banana for sure, or you could, you know, I don't well, know. You, know. you know that butterscotch and banana are like, they're like married. Best friends. Yeah. They're best friends. They're not married. They're engaged. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, or they're having some serious, you know, Humpty Dump. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Take it there. Yeah. You, yeah. Have, you, you couldn't stop it. Again. You just had yeah. to keep going. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're having a good time together. Yeah, they yeah. Uh, I, I love that profile. Banana caramel, banana butterscotch. It's uh yep. so so good. Yeah. It was it was fun. I loved the profile. It was fun to do. And it looks really nice and toasted with that creme brulee and that smoked butterscotch. Like it it looks that looks good. I'm gonna have to mix this one up. I think the only one I don't have is that banana flambe. So I, I would I would definitely want to mix this up as well. And I have an order going out this week. Probably won't this get it. You have no excuse now because it's on Bull City. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 Cool beans. Yeah, I've only tried a few uh Silumarum flavors, and I've been impressed with the with the few I've tried so far. Mm -hmm. So me too. The only trouble that I have is trying to figure out like where the range is for them. Like how high can you go? Like yeah. I wanted, I was thinking of taking that up higher to see how much more banana I could get before it got weird. Mm -hmm. But the mouthfeel on that was like perfect. It was ideal. Yeah. Cause I wanted to be able to see if I could get more of the flambe notes in it and I wasn't getting any more of that. And I, so I was like, all right, let me just stop at like 3%. Some of the Saloub stuff you can actually push to like 10%. Really? Yeah, wow. uh, they they are kind of mild in general, and five percent is kind of average with them. Wow! And you can go up to like ten percent. So it's almost like a one shot. It, it's almost well, it's kind of like Flavor West. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> they're they're, they're like they work more. lower. You can do stuff with them lower, but you can also push them way up. Nice. Oh. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. All right. All right. Very nice. Well, Thanks for sharing, Mira. Thank you. My pleasure. I would think that also with them being like Flavor West, it probably won't get funky with steep. What do you think, JJ? No, if anything, they kind of fade out with steep. Um, oh, I've had that issue with the toast. 
I, mm. I use the toast in quite a few recipes, but you have to push it up high. It tastes too strong when you first mix it, but then as it steeps, it fades out. So that's why pushing it up high, it doesn't, it doesn't throw off super off notes because it just seems like it's kind of a weak flavor after it starts to steep. Uh, hmm. Good to know. All right, who would like to go next? I can go next. All right, JJ. I went simple this week. Oh, nice. I, uh, I wanted to do just a little something different with the crust and then that was as far as I was taking it. I was making basic cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> so I used Liquid Barn's Baker's Touch. So it's like having oh, a cinnamon nice. bun toasted and then crushed up and mixed with crushed graham crackers and butter and made into a crust. Yeah, that so Baker's Touch is a nice flavor. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's got a nice cinnamon sugar kind of not, it's not super cakey because there's enough graham cracker in there to, to throw it <laughs> into crust like. Um, and that cheesecake graham cracker crust is just buttery. And the uh, only thing I did was cheesecake, New York cheesecake, V1, just because it's, you know, the basic. And I wanted a touch of banana. So I almost used Flavor Arts banana, but it was just a tad too floral and I wanted a little more ripe. So I went with the Losi's banana and I just got in Wonder Flavors caramel butter. And I've been, I mixed that with a, coffee earlier this week in a pod for my friend and it smelled so good I was like yep that's got to get used so with the baker's touch it adds like a cinnamon note with the caramel so it, it it's as if the caramel drizzle had some cinnamon in it too so it kind of ties all the flavors together and it, it it works in a pod which is nice it works in a pod that's I'm what's amazed. Really interesting oh, that's good. I'm amazed it's a good flavor, but I wouldn't think it would work in a pot because I would think that you couldn't generate enough temperature I tried it in to this get one. the darker notes out of it. Yeah, no, it came through. It, I That's think it awesome. needs to steep for a couple, like a couple yeah, weeks. Yeah, yeah. Cheesecake. Let me let me see that for... pod. What is that? It's yeah, the yeah, fundamental yeah, particle mission. It was only okay. like four ninety nine on Black Friday. Unfortunately, cool. one of them was having battery issues. <laughs> It spent the night in the snow. <laughs> it looks like a box cutter. <laughs> and it, it pops up. The the end, you have to push this part, and it goes up, and it oh, fires. Wow. It is a box cutter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weapon. And oh, man, oh, man. Interesting. So I taste, I taste quite a bit of graham cracker from it in the pod, and I think that yeah. will die out as it steeps and the baker's touch will come through a little bit more, but I do get cinnamon and sugar and the caramel actually comes through quite nicely. Oh, the wow. Is yeah. only a hint, And that's all I wanted was that little slice yeah. on top. Me too. So. Me too. Yeah. I really like how well balanced baker's touch is. Like it's not very heavy on the cinnamon. Yeah. And it works better than, than cinnamon Danish swirl. Yep. <laughs> yeah. A hundred percent. I, I love Baker's Touch. I use you it guys, in places like that all the time. You can find the Baker's Touch has a little bit of lemon. Or is not, it just me? Lemon? I, I, say I, lemon? Taste, I taste lemon in it. Hmm. There's a little bit of brightness to the bread part to me, which maybe might, might be I'm getting tasting and I'm lemon. picking it up like lemon. Like fruity like sweetness. So maybe you're picking it up as lemon. Hmm. Maybe. I think it's just in there to balance it, the, the slightly bright sweet tartness of like a lemon note with the sweetness darkness of the bready parts i'll have to mix it again i'll have to mix it again maybe it was maybe it was what i put it in if you wanted a crunchier graham cracker crust on mine you could add like 0.75 percent of flavor arts graham crust and in a pod that comes through too and it'll add more crunch i i tend to do menthol and fruit in my pods I'm just by experimenting. Choice or by by. <laughs> I don't think I've never done by a default. bakery in a pod before. Right, so that's what I was saying. Come across a little bit stronger, like you don't have to pump them up as much as like fruits. Is that true? I'm I can sorry, never I get a bakery help. or custard out of a pod because yeah. I don't think you can generate enough of a temperature where they where you're actually getting that flavor. Because I think those flavors tend to 
vaporize at a higher temperature. Like that's why I think fruit and menthol works better. I think out of this one, it's going to probably taste better because this is actually a direct to lung. It, it's a lot more open than a regular pod. So I can. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I don't there. like those kind of pods. It's got a point six. Those are oil. not pods. Those are mini mods. It, yeah, it's it's They're something all in like a hybrid. It's They're in between. really all in ones. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. I, I got one for my friend because she needs something simple, but she wanted direct to lung, yeah. and she's using Nick salts. This is yeah. good with the Nick salts. I've got fourteen milligram in here right now, and it's not harsh at all. It's a warm-ish vape. It's not super hot, but there is a point three coil to it too, so oh, I could wow. make it even warmer. Oh, wow. Yeah, that would um, work. I'll stop asking questions because I'll have time to ask you questions next week. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, th that new, Naut that breeze, that Aspire breeze that used the old Nautilus coils, mm -hmm. now that's good. I bet you that could work too. Yeah. I haven't tried that one. I've been rebelling against that one because I have the Aspire breeze too, and I'm perfectly happy with it. So I'm like, why am I going to get something else that's going to use the same exact coil when I can just keep on <laughs> using what I already have? Because it's convenient. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? The Aspire Sprite. I've had that for a while and I've bought a couple of the tops for it. And, you know, everybody knows I'm a little bit sensitive to things and I'm a pain in the ass, but I taste the plastic in it. I oh. swear I take the plastic in it. After the second tank, I can taste plastic. And and I mean like plastic, like the plastic is leaching into my juice. Ooh. I am done with it pretty much. No, I'm no, it no. to my oh. husband because he can vape leech juice. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's still smoking. Fuck it. <laughs> Smoke, vape, plastic, whatever. <laughs> You're going to die if you keep smoking. So. <laughs> Who's the next victim? Just Dad, why don't you go on. next? <laughs> okay. Dad, go. <laughs> I'll go next. Since you guys voted dead, I go next. <laughs> so I called mine Nanner Cheesecake Bites. Because to me, it looks like a little cheesecake. Tiny little cheesecakes that you would get in one of those hors d'oeuvres or, or in, in a party or something. Sorry, hors d'oeuvres is not the word I was looking for. Those, the, those little trays where you go to a party at Christmas and they have little desserts because they don't want you eating huge slices of anything. They want you to taste a bunch of stuff. That's what it looked like to me. This is in my wheelhouse. So I'm pretty, I made the crust out of banana nut bread and um, grank. Uh, graham cracker V2 from Capella. So that's my crust and the banana nut bread gives it enough banana that you can taste the banana at the top. I use Bavarian cream from TFA because it has emulsifying properties on it. So it would kind of blend that banana in a little further. It would kind of like mute it out, but not really. It's kind of weird what I do with that one. Um, cheesecake graham crust gives the crust even more of a cheesy buttery crust it's delicious i love cheesecake graham crust and everything but there's a method to my madness uh i use a tiny bit of new york cheesecake because cheesecake graham crust doesn't have enough cheesecake for me and this is supposed to be a cheesecake but it's supposed to be a bite it's kind of like an, a frozen cheesecake so it's going to be like an ice cream type so i use the vanilla ice cream from flavor art at four percent and you know like i was saying earlier that banana and that butterscotch are married. They're doing the Humpty dance together. <laughs> so I used a little bit of smoked butterscotch because I needed the caramel at the top, but I wanted it to be a little bit smoky, like it was baked or over, or like they make the, the topping at the top, like on the stove and made it kind of brownish almost to the burnt part and then poured it over the cooked banana on it. And it, it's delicious. It's delicious. It's in my wheelhouse. The only thing I left out of it that I almost put in it, but then I decided against it was that Jamaican rum. I decided against it because I didn't want it any darker. I wanted yeah. to taste the creamy straw, um, vanilla ice cream with the cheesecakey kind of. So basically, it's like a vanilla ice cream with a hint of cheesecake sitting on a little bit of a cinnamon crust, um, cheesecake graham crust with some added bread notes and a taste of banana at the top but it actually got a pretty strong 
banana taste. I don't know. To me, but I'm sensitive to banana at 3%. You can taste it, but that Bavarian cream calms it down, and so does that vanilla ice cream. Kind of weird, but it's very delicious. You should try it. <laughs> so, uh, Jen, why did you go with V2 of Capella's graham cracker? Uh, because it's a different note than the V1. The V1 has a lot of cinnamon. Uh, some people say the V2 has no cinnamon. I still taste cinnamon, but it's very mild. So I didn't want to add too much cinnamon to it. I didn't want to use Flavor West because Flavor West just has too much sweetness to it. Um, and then banana bread is already, banana bread is already sweet enough for me, for my taste. So I just went with a graham crust that was a little bit cinnamony, but not very much. And, um, it just, it just complimented it. It's just my, my idea of not adding too much cinnamon, but just a tad. I like that you and Mary Beth both used uh, smoked butterscotch in your, in, in your, uh, yeah. mix. That was that was something that I played with. I made I made this I made two versions of this. I didn't make a bunch of versions because, like I said, this is in my wheelhouse. And I the first version I actually had the smoked butterscotch at a 0.75, and it was just too present, too smoky, too cooked. So I was I didn't even go for 0.5. I just went straight down to 0.25 because I wanted to taste the butterscotch, but I wanted it to be like more of a back. I want it more of the smokiness kind of caramelly yeah. part of it. I've never used it. F.A. Vanilla cream ice cream. What is that like, Jen? Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> the is longer it buttery? You sleep, no, it is vanilla ice cream. Mm -hmm. it, if, if the longer you steep it, the creamier, more, more ice cream it gets. It's not very buttery. It's just vanilla ice cream, milky vanilla ice cream. Oh, good. Okay, cool. Good, good. It's it's a very good vanilla ice cream. It's my favorite now. It doesn't give me any pepper notes. It doesn't get sharp. And the longer you steep it, I mean, I've steeped it on accident because it tastes good off the shake and after three days. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you can't vape everything you mix right away. And sometimes it sits around. I steeped one, one of my testers and it was just a vanilla ice cream, graham cracker, and I think another another vanilla just to to get a feel for it and when i went back to it it was really ice creamy I, and i even added some ws23 to finish it off like how does it compare to like liquid barn i don't have liquid barn uh, okay that's been that's been my go-to like it's ice cream it's not recently. as deep like it's yeah. not as uh, buttery it's probably a brighter yeah. vanilla is it yeah like a, yeah okay i i got it in my it's head milkier yeah it's, milk it's good it's a good I've heard that that liquid barn is buttery and thick yeah. and mouth yeah. drenching, you know. Yeah. And I'm not a big on butter. I'm one of those people that I like butter if I'm trying to get it on purpose, yeah. but I don't want it to show up if I'm just making. Unless it. you're adding it, yep. It's okay, got cool. more depth than like something like Flavor West vanilla ice cream, but it's got a brighter, brighter yeah. vanilla. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Who's snoring? <laughs> Can you hear my dog? Yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> 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 at first i was like what what is that i, I thought it was asked. someone's phone like on that oh thing. <laughs> wake up you're making noises <laughs> okay. well, uh, i'll go next you guys are cool if you're cool with that right um so i you guys saw cheesecake i didn't see cheesecake in this picture i just saw like a cinnamon roll with with a slice of banana and caramel sauce on top um so what i did was I used my favorite go-to cinnamon roll flavor, which is Flavor West Caramel Cinnamon Roll at 4%. And then to kind of uh, play with that cinnamon note and get some brown sugar notes, I used Banana Foster at 2% from TFA. And then Banana Flambe at 3% from Salubarone. And then I wanted to kind of to boost up that caramel a little bit more and give it a little bit of a darker note. I did 1% Vape Train Salted Caramel. Because it's um it's not like flavor west salted caramel. No. It's darker and almost like a like a scorched kind of like a burnt note, but a pleasant in a pleasant way. So I uh, I use that to kind of darken everything up. And it's it's pretty tasty. It's really good. In fact, I don't have my tester anymore. I was I normally leave a little bit so I can vape it while I'm like on the show and I just couldn't I couldn't help myself and I vaped it all. 
<laughs> that happens. <laughs> oh, I was muted. Sometimes when things are so good, it definitely happens. You've got to vape it all. And you vape it all unless you make a bigger batch. Well, I was, I was proud of myself for not vaping it the first day because I always like, whenever I make a new, oh, look at that puppy. Whenever I make a new mix, <laughs> it's, um, I'll like, drip it once just to just to get an idea and then i'll set it aside for however long to see how it steeps and when i i first tried it like the first version i'm like hot damn like this is good like i'm done and i wanted to like vape it all that day but i'm like no i exercised in self-control and at least waited a few days before i vape the rest of it <laughs> but uh it's pretty tasty it's simple and it's uh, you know any any time i have an excuse to use banana foster I don't know what you guys think of that flavor, but I just really like it. I love the the brown sugar notes in it, and the banana is pretty good. I don't have that one either. I don't have the banana foster. I don't either. I want to see how that compares to the banana flambe. I'm curious. Yeah, it's it's um it's kind of similar to the banana flambe, where as it's like a, a baked banana flavor, but it's a lot more than just banana. You get a lot of that brown sugar, a little bit of cinnamon, you know. Um, well, the, you know, the only banana foster I ever tried was Flavor West and it was disgusting. So I've never, ever, 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 ever ordered another one because I was like horrified. I've never so tried like, that one. So I don't know. It's, it, it's very caramelly. I mean, it's probably not bad to other people, but to me, it was like, what is this? TPAs isn't as bad as Flavor West. <laughs> And uh, Delosi's Banana Foster's is good, too. I haven't tried Delosi's. I only have a Basically, hand. it sounds like they're all pretty good, but Flavor West. <laughs> yeah, Flavor West well, I mean, gross. don't, don't speak me on my word. I'm super sensitive. So, I mean, you can't pay attention to me. When I say something is gross, you're going to have to still try it. For I, I'm pretty sure it has sugar in it, though. Okay, like, don't try it. I, th I think their Banana Foster's did have some either caramel coloring or a sugar syrup or something of that nature in it. Oh, this it's really dark. Dark. West, yeah. It's like tar dark. <laughs> it was very dark. And it tasted like rotten bananas, like like yeah. overripe bananas. Oh, yeah. And not candy bananas. It really does taste good, like a banana. It just tastes like sweet. banana you let turn black and then cooked. That's my description of it. Anyhow, it's been years since I've tried it because that one time was enough for me. <laughs> yeah, I have a bottle of it over on my shelf. <laughs> I think I gave mine away to a new mixer. I was like, here, have fun with that. Use it at 10% with PG, VG, and nicotine. I, I really like the caramel cinnamon roll. I, I use that a fair amount as opposed to like cap cinnamon danish. I just prefer it. I prefer the, I don't know, I just prefer the cinnamon in it, I guess. <clears throat> I like the caramel cinnamon roll either. I, also, I also like their Dutch apple pie, but I just learned I should read more often that it actually is the only thing that actually has real caramel in it. What show was I watching last week? Oh my gosh, Somebody really? Somebody told me that. Really? I, I, what show was it? It was on. You I need to check was, the links for the SDSs. I think it was Copel that said it. I think it was Copel and um, um, Rick. I think they were talking about it. Ah. it. It tastes like it does. I haven't looked at it yet on the on the readout. They do have them all listed there, though. If you go on Flavor West site and you go to like the natural flavors, you'll see it over on the left hand side of the page. If you scroll yeah, down, they, they told me. I'll take their word for it. I'll have to <laughs> but if anybody else wants to go look and see what Flavor West has in their flavors. Not that you can always trust that. No, but in, they're it's listing stuff that you shouldn't vape. <laughs> yeah, it's better than it used to be. It is better. So, who's next? I think we're pretty sure I'm the only one that hasn't gone. <laughs> no, I was waiting for you to speak up. I was letting, giving you that, you know, <laughs> little, 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 little elbow nudge. That little, hey girl. <laughs> hey girl. Hey Mine's not horribly dissimilar from any of these, really, because I used the banana flambe as well. Um, mainly because I just got it and I wanted to use it. Um, 
And of the five or six variants, it turned out the best. Uh, I don't honestly know how it'll steep as usual. <laughs> this last version was like reformulated today. Um, but anyway, I saw a banana cheesecake with like a cinnamon-ish sauce on top. So I used the banana flambe because it had a lot of the ingredients already in it because it has like a liqueur and this and that. And then I used Vape, Ch Vape Train's cheesecake because it just stood out more against the other flavors than the other cheesecakes I tried. And then I kind of copied off myself from the apple tart that I made, or the pear tart rather, uh, with part of the crust. I didn't <laughs> add the pastry zest because the lemon kind of was interacting with the other flavors, maybe the alcohol in the flambe. I'm not entirely sure, but I didn't really like it in there. So I omitted that. But I left the cinnamon sugar and the graham crust in there because Vape Train's cheesecake to me is not very crust heavy, if at all. Um, and then I added Flavora's vanilla custard just to give it some body because the flambe kind of thinned it out a bit. And that's about it. <laughs> How is that uh, the Vape Train cheesecake? It's one. It's one I haven't tried yet. What's that one like? It's good. It's kind of similar to Mullenberries, I would say. What? If you've never had that, it's kind of hard yeah. to describe. <laughs> uh, huh. It's more cheesecake filling than crust to me. Because um, I like the T TFA cheesecake, and I used it in one variant, but it just didn't work. I don't know if it was just the combination of things, but the cheesecake wasn't standing out, and it still doesn't really stand out horribly against this version either, but I kind of ran out of time to mess with it. <laughs> um, I really wanted the cheesecake to be prominent against the banana, but it was kind of hard finding a balance between the two, especially working with the new flavor, which is again, my fault, but I don't know. There's not a lot of bananas I liked, but the flambe seemed pretty good, but it really will depend on how it steeps out, how I really feel about it. And I won't know until that happens. What made you choose the F.A. Graham Crust instead of one of the more cinnamony ones? Because I wanted to add the notes separate. Because I find sometimes when you have a crust that's integrated with cinnamon already, you can't control it. It's like basically you're stuck with the amount of cinnamon that's already in it. And it worked for my tart thingy, so. Yeah, that's just Rin's crust now, man. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds own. disgusting, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! Crust. <laughs> Hashtag. No, I didn't crust. mean it. <laughs> no, damn it, no. Your brain is in the gutter, Rin. Come on. No, it's not even like about a gutter. Like crust just doesn't sound good to me. Well, what else you call I don't know. <laughs> Well, we'll make up a name. I, I coined Dave Barry Trinity. We'll make up a name for you. Not crusty. <laughs> Not crusty. That's why she don't like it, because she uses that word against people. What, what she uses people. She a, uses the money that she doesn't like. She goes, oh, he's crusty. Like, it is crust. Like, there's nothing else. It's not. You can't just call it, like, a pastry. No, I, I get it. It's similar to the M word that I don't like. It's good. <laughs> it's good to describe things, but it just sounds nasty. Right, we'll, come, we'll come up with a name for it, Rin. Pie shell. <laughs> My shell. Pie yes. Shell. No pie. Pie shell. <laughs> Rin's pie shell. <laughs> yeah, done. Rin's shell. Because I'm a crab. <laughs> shell. All right. There Bye. we go. Better than being crusty. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny though. It's hilarious. I'm enjoying that. Now I got I'm sure you are, fairy. I, I <laughs> got something to pick on you with. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me the you gave me you gave me the material. Thanks. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh gosh. So let's see. Let's see if I have any other questions. How long uh, how long did you let it steep? I literally mixed this version today. Because, like, the other versions I had done already, 
I didn't quite like them, so I tweaked it a bit, and I was like, well, <laughs> this is good enough for now. I, I don't know. I, I just, I run out of time. I wait too long. So then it's a shake and vape. That's always good. No, it's not really a shake and vape. It's a, eh, this is all right. <laughs> 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 you know where it's going. This is the real question. Limits yeah. on yourself of you know one recipe every week. Sometimes okay has to be good. <laughs> good enough, you know. Like like sometimes what was it? Um, delightfully mediocre. It's it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could be really great. It just I think it's going to take a few days. So I don't know. I don't know how the flambe is, but I don't know. I seem to see, be very sensitive to like alcohol in vapes. That's why I tend not to use it. It just comes off very astringent to me. Like I was doing my nails and like got nail polish remover in my mouth or something. Like I, I don't enjoy it. So I don't know how much is present in the flambe, but I don't know. It's going to depend on if it mellows down a bit. It should mellow down. Probably. I mean, most of those yeah, alcohols me mellow out in about a week. Yeah, I was talking to someone about, because I, oh, I used Mars Capone in one of them. And because I wanted to bump up the cheesecake note, and I've been wanting to play with that flavor because it could potentially be good. It's just so strong, and apparently it takes forever to steep in anything decent. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, we're going to nix that one for now because I can't guarantee how that'll turn out. I don't have a month. It really changes, and it's about a, a two- to three-week minimum for the mascarpone. And it's really good, but it's a two- to three-week or easy. Mm. Well, we'll see how that one goes. <laughs> I'm going to try to keep them just in case they change. But yeah, I'm not used to doing these steepers. Like I'm so used to like shake and vaping anymore. Like it's a complete opposite from when I started. Well, the good thing is that now you make so many that there's no way you can vape all of these fast. So some of these you can set aside and vape later, right? Or do you vape? Well, I'm not gonna be vaping any of them. They're gonna just sit in the drawer of eternal steep. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> they might come out. <laughs> Drawer eternal Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was one I straight up threw away. Oh, it was the berry creme brulee I made. Oh my god. It was terrible. I don't know. I, I don't think I Is kept that the recipe. For a show? Um, I was working on something for someone, um, because they like the more bakery, like vanilla puddings and that kind of stuff. Um, and they like raspberry. So I was trying to do like a blackberry, raspberry, creme brulee type thing. And the flavors I picked, I don't even remember which way they were. It turned it very medicinal, uh, which was odd. I think it was like a mixture of blueberry and maybe forest fruit. It was something, but it turned it like Dimatap. Um, it was like Dimatap creme brulee, and it was not good. <laughs> that went right in the garbage. That's not a pleasant surprise. Yeah, I was gonna drip it, and then I just did like a little knuckle test. I'm like, nope, <laughs> I am not ruining <laughs> my coil. <laughs> not today. So, did you put it back in the drawer? Did you? Throw no, it? I threw it away. It went <laughs> okay. LeBron right in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so Gil has a good question for us in chat. He says, "Is anyone else mixing their juices thinner with more PG dominant?" during cold weather no be well slightly i'm pg sensitive so i can't do a whole lot but i have increased it slightly i do a 25 75 just is because that it normally gets what you're doing or is that what you're doing now i do a 80 20 usually but because it's been so cold it gets really thick so i've been doing 25 i can do a 70 30 but if I'm like chain vaping, it does kind of make me start feeling a little lightheaded and nauseous. If I'm dripping it in a tank, it's okay, but I don't do tanks very much. Got it. Yeah, I mostly drip, so I don't really change the consistency very much. I've been doing 50-50 in my pods. Yeah, I do. I do 50. Sometimes I do 60-40 in the pods. 60 PG. 
yeah. in the pods. And I used to be PG sensitive, but I guess through the years I've gotten less sensitive to it and more sensitive to flavor. It's so weird. Vaping is like the weirdest thing in the world. Just the things that you go through, the ups and downs and the things your body adjusts to and doesn't adjust to, you know? Yeah. What about you, Mary Beth? Are you somewhere that it gets cold, pretty cold during the winter? I'm on the East Coast. I'm in New Jersey. Do you change so, yeah. up your, do you add no PG in winter? No, I don't really. Um, if I was outside more, I would, but you know, from the house to the car and the car gets warmed up, it, I don't know. I don't find that it makes that much of a difference. Yeah. I think if I was outside more, you know, then I would probably have a, a thinner mix. And I make thinner mixes for my wife just because she seems to like chain vape more than I do. Like she hauls on that thing. Like there's no other, cause she's a new, a new vapor, right? So and but she's using me, a tank too, isn't she? Yeah, she's using a tank. Well, but for so me, yeah. it's seventy thirty all the all yeah, the way around. Yeah, me too. Yeah, do I do seventy thirty in this. It's fine. Do you think though, like the different ratios of PG really impact the flavor? Yeah. Like yeah, how so that. though? But like how so? It's just the, the flavor is just more um, like saturated. And with the know, P, higher PG. Higher PG, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, whereas it's maybe not as sweet, but it's it's just more more poppy, like more saturated. Yeah, I think Emily hit that one on the nail. It might not be as sweet um, with higher PG, so you that's where you find yourself using some EM or some sweetener. Yep, sweetener. Um, yep. And I, I I've been tending to go with EM for um, PG higher PG mixes hmm. instead of sweetener because I think my higher PG ones actually go in pods and. For some reason, EM comes through better, I think, in pods than I, than than super sweet. And I think yep. it's because when you use super sweet, it coats the coil faster. Coils. And yep. You, and you're, I mean, not that EM has the same reputation, but for some reason, in pods, super low does. Better. I agree, hundred percent. When I'm using you like a month ago, Jen. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like when I bought start store bought juice and I put it in my pods. Like that pod life is gone. And then when I've mixed my own and I've used EM, so much better. Yeah. So you get you get better pod Ooh. life. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. So. It's been a while, like a long time since I've used like just EM. It seems like lately I've been on this trend where it's like either super sweet or just sucralose. Um, or like I'll every now and then I'll use something like TFA sweetener that's got EM in it or put EM with my circulose. But um, it's been a really long time since I've just used EM. Yeah, I, I tend to use it more on higher PG recipes. I don't know why. I mean, sometimes I mix the two. Sometimes I do 0.10 of one and 0.10 of the other, you know? Mm -hmm. And end up, I, I do a total of 0.25 or 0.5, depending on what my mix is. And I sometimes split the difference. <coughs> sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just go for the EM. I mean, it's it's all, I think EM works really well with creams. And um, I don't know. I, I have, there's no sign. Yeah, well, Wayne's been using it uh, recently a lot with like custards and stuff. I thought it was interesting. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Should we uh should we give them a sneak peek of what we're working with for next week, guys? Yeah, that's a great idea. It's uh, a little similar to last week's profile, but it's got some differences. So what is it? Uh, uh, it's, I'm not sure. It could be an eggnog. It looks like there's some bourbon and some cinnamon with a candy cane sticking out of it. I was just trying to find out where your brain was with it. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm competing against over here. Another creamy alcohol. <laughs> yeah, a creamy. Because we like that profile so much, we have to pick it twice in the same room. Two of these in a Ooh, one. Mm. I probably picked that one. That's probably one that I picked. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, do, I do love that profile. I picked the first eggnog. I ain't responsible for the second. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't even you know when you guys pick the the out of our choices I, i'm usually at work and you guys are like jennifer you need to pick yours and i'm like oh, that one and i don't look at what you guys have picked obviously otherwise we wouldn't have had so many that were so similar back to back to back and we're all in the same frame of mind sometimes which is weird 
closer, the longer we're together, the more we start thinking as one. <laughs> yeah. That being said, I will be taking a leave of absence. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Want to be a pod person. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be verified either. Come on, man. <laughs> No, one last one week. Lesson, you know it. <laughs> it gives me anxiety. Just looking at your recipe gives me anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> but if I ever send you anything, you're like, oh, this is pretty good. No, it the the ones that I have tried of yours are good, especially the one. You just but don't want to mix them yourself. Hell no. <laughs> 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 yeah, forget mixing them, Ren. Try entering them in. I ha- I did it. No, I did it once, and it was like ten. I'm like, I am not doing it ever again. I was trying to be nice, like, oh, I'll do it for you. And I looked, I'm like, <laughs> I hit Emily with that one too. I-, I noticed that JJ has never volunteered. That's because I know what your recipes are like. I'm yeah. not. I don't want to enter my own in. <laughs> and Brick should have never volunteered either. He did one time, and then some. One of you guys. um went in there and said I'll do it and he was like okay <laughs> <laughs> and you never eat crickets from him from then on get carpal tunnel <laughs> well, I love you guys thank you so much for coming on oh my pleasure thank Glad you so much have you. hopefully we'll, we'll have you back again sometime soon sure did you have fun oh it was great I enjoyed it tremendously y'all you know it's funny because I've watched you all, well, most of you all, you know, for a very long time. So it's kind of weird to be here. <laughs> it's like weird. I don't even know what to say. But thank you. I've enjoyed it tremendously. And I've respected all the work that you've done over the years. So thank you so much. Or at least for as long as I've been watching you. Thank you. thank you. That's so sweet. It's true. That's so sweet. You need to come on more often. We like to have our guests. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and you're always welcome to come on our show, too, on Wednesdays. Thanks. Thank you, Jen. I appreciate that. <clears throat> All right, awkward up. silence. <laughs> <laughs> it's that time. Someone, Let's go. <laughs> out of here. I'm not doing it this week. <laughs> Who's doing it? Wait, yeah, it's you. <laughs> not it. <laughs> what do you mean? Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> I <just> said not it. <laughs> Thank you to Bull City Flavors, Flavora, all the flavors, ECX. Uh, am I forgetting anybody? Jennifer? No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Wayne Walker, go check out DIY or Die. He has a good website and he has awesome content throughout the week. Oh. And there's one thing I did want to say before we left. Guys, we're so close to a thousand people. I can taste it. Like we need eight more people. Eight. Wow. Eight. If you're watching this show but have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, please. Smash that subscribe button, people. Bring a friend. Share, like, and subscribe. Yep. (laughs) Add to your favorites. (laughs) Ring the bell. (laughs) Love us. Give us love. (laughs) Hugs. Oh, my God. Good night.